Hey, well, here we go again. This is a tutorial on how to install ADFR on Windows as well as Autodoc Bean. Mm -hmm. We have to begin by downloading the files. Uh, to do that, as you can see, I look up Autodoc Bean GitHub. I'm going to click on that and uh, I look up the, this next link, which is the documentation. The reason for that is that I find it super easy to follow the documentation to install the program. And the documentation is going to take us here. And under installation, we can find this link uh, to GitHub and specifically to the releases. Under that link, we're going to find executables for Linux, Mac, as well as Windows. This is Windows, so I'm going to download this one. It's pretty quick. It's already down. I'm going to go now to the section for Autodoc, uh, for ADFR, and I'm going to go to the downloads, not to version 1.1, but to version 1.1, and download the installer application. This is going to take a few seconds longer. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to go to the documentation and download these associated uh, files for the tutorial. I'm not going to run the tutorial, I'm just going to use those files to show that the installation has proceeded normally and it actually works. So that was fast. I'm going to go now to my downloads where the files have been saved. Here we go. Bina, ADFR suite, as well as the data. I'm going to start opening the, the, by opening the data and instead of just extracting it, I'm going to put it on this folder, this empty folder that I created, which is called Docky. Mm -hmm. I'm ca I can close WinRAR. And uh, first of all, I'm going to ins install ADFR. And that requires double click. Once I double click, I get the installation window, which is this one, pretty practical. And basically, I just need to follow the instructions on the screen. I'm going to minimize this one because I'm going to ask the installer to put a direct access on my on my desktop. Mm -hmm. This is an academic install. Uh, I, uh, I don't want the quick launch, but I do want the desktop shortcut. There it is. I'm going to double click on it uh, because it's the first launch is going to take a little while to load. Well, that actually quite fast. And here we know it's working. Now for Bina. Bina is still in the same download folder and there's another folder insta inside with the doc. So what I need to use both ADFR and Bina is to go to my programs and locate the Windows PowerShell. In there, I click the PowerShell. I have this install this modification so that the type on the screen is very big. And I need to go to downloads where is where my binaries are located. So downloads. And you can see Bina there. So all I need to do is tell the terminal where is Bina. And I do that by typing a dot and a slash Bina and then press the tab key, the tabulator. And you can see it's been auto complete, complete. And there you go, it runs. Now, to make sure it's actually running, I'm going to go into the docking folder by typing cd docking. And now, to tell where Bina is, I have to use two dots and a slash and bin. Okay. Uh, here on the finder, I can look up the names. Sorry, the explorer. I forget that I'm on Windows. And I'm going to use. Uh, this receptor and this ligand. And to do that on the terminal, I have to type dash dash receptor for ek4, sorry, 3 rec dot pdbqt and minus minus ligand for ek4, k4 random. And I'm going to autocomplete that. Now, if I press enter, you can see that the program is running. It doesn't have enough parameters to actually perform a docking, but it's trying. And there we go. So it works. Next, I'm going to try to use ADFR. It, actually, ADFR requires more things. So uh, I'm going to try AGFR, which will be used for the preparation of the files. So uh, here it goes. It works. 
In this case, because the program was installed, I don't need to tell the terminal where is it. So it's a little bit simpler. So for this, I need receptor again, which is 4EK3. Rec.pdbqt. And I think, I, I really, yeah, I can tell it which is the ligand. So I guess I probably have to use a slightly different, uh, different instructions for EK for lig. Uh, yeah, okay, so it can run like that. It's, it's probably doing the preparation of the box in a incorrect fashion, but it's trying. And what I can tell you is here we can see which version of the program we are running, that it's running, it's running on a Windows computer, uh, and it's creating a box around the ligand. If in, in fact, it located a cavity on the protein. However, in order to actually, well, this is a step that we could perform with the program that's on the desktop. In fact, I can use this AGFR to open this TRG file that I created. So I'm going to open the receptor, down docking um, for EK3 rec. Here it is. And the target file, which is this one that I created on the terminal. Okay, so this is the location of the ligand. I'm going to make the screen bigger. This is the location of the ligand that I use as a reference and the dots that represent the cavity where it could be found. So ADFR works, BINA works, a AGFR on the terminal. This, installations is, this installation is ready to go. So I hope this video was useful. And please like, subscribe, and see you around for the next one.